So I went to the advanced screening of Transformers 1. I will do my best not to spoil anything here, and may have a spoiler discussion video at another time, but for now, let's get into it. I'll start off by saying this is quite possibly the best Transformers movie since 1986. I know that's not a very high bar thanks to the Michael Bay movies, but it's definitely an improvement as a silver screen outing. The visual effects are fantastic. Cybertron looks better here than it has in any of the live action films. It's bright, it's colorful, and it's alive with a ton of characters and cameos. I had to stop myself from playing point out the character while watching the movie as there was so many familiar faces in the crowd scenes. Sadly, not many got voice roles outside of the core cast, but it was really cool that the animators took the time to populate the world with so many familiar faces. Speaking of voice roles, for the most part the cast did a pretty damn good job. I had some reservations about Chris Hemsworth and Brian Tyree Henry taking on such iconic roles, but their chemistry was fantastic and both did an excellent job morphing their voices as the characters progressed towards their destinies. Scarlett Johansson did a great job as Alita. John Hamm's Sentinel Prime was the pitch-perfect, arrogant ass you wanted to hear. But I will say, Keegan-Michael Key absolutely steals the show as Bumblebee. The entire theater, myself included, was laughing at every word that came out of the little bugger. This was a version of Bumblebee I could get behind. There were a few voices that seemed off, like Shockwave, for example, but no one was so egregious that it spoiled the experience. There wasn't anything particular exciting about the overall plot. If you know anything about Transformers at all, you knew where the tale of D-16 and Orion Pax was going to end. But the journey getting there was full of a decent amount of twists and turns, and a Metroplex-sized load of action and fun that I found myself enjoying every moment of. The movie manages to cram a lot of world building into a short amount of time, but nothing felt forced. Most of the things that I personally was worried about, like why they don't have transformation cogs, get satisfactory explanations. Only thing I wish they had done, though, is I would have appreciated some elaboration on character naming. Why some characters got generic alphanumeric codes for names like D16 and B127, while others get actual names like Orion Pax, Alita, and even Jazz. If it was the class system that we observed and, say, you had to earn the right to a real name or something, that might have been interesting to explore, especially with D16's character arc. But nothing is brought up, it's just a thing in this world. I want to give a shout out to whomever choreographed the fighting in this movie. It was so refreshing to see someone maximize the full potential of what you could do visually with Transformers fight scenes. Not only using the alt modes in clever ways, but using their own transformation sequences as part of the way they fight. I don't want to spoil it, but it was very fun to watch to say the least. Overall, I really enjoyed this movie. It was fun. My daughter and I had a blast. The entire theater was cheering during the final act, especially at one particular surprise that I won't spoil here, but it was awesome to see. Obviously, there are going to be some haters out there. This might not be the type of Transformers movie you wanted, but of the eight modern Transformers movies we've had on screen since 2007, this is the first one from start to finish that felt like it was made truly by people that love the franchise and get what makes it special to fans. Pow! Transform! Hold up there, citizen. You're not thinking of watching this whole video and moving on without hitting the like button, are you? And I see you're not subscribed. That's a clear violation of code 42-1701C. Loser! Whoa! Well, it looks like you're getting off with a warning this time, because I need to go stop that crazy con! Make sure you like and subscribe!